door. I can see it there, but I can't <laughs> see it in my... <laughs> it's really big. Welcome to Texas! Hey everybody! It's Heather and the hey. boy. I don't know if he's on the camera, but we decided <laughs> just now that we would vlog maybe our little mini vacation. We are on our way to Houston, Texas. We are currently, where are we? I have no If you go down that road right there, you go to my old hometown of Wichita Falls. You go straight ahead, go to Dallas. That's where we're headed right now. And we're just riding along. It was pouring down rain earlier. And um, yeah, so you missed that part of the trip, but nothing super interesting. Uh, this guy is tired. Yeah. He's drinking a Red Bull. I pulled up my book that I was thinking about reading. It's a girl boss. And um, yeah, that's what we're doing right now. So we'll check in later. all of the songs about Texas that we know. Old country song used to be in my dad's jukebox. We were talking about, what were we talking about? All my exes live in Texas. Yellow Rose of Texas. Yellow Rose of Texas. That I was telling him my grandpa used to sing that to my grandma. That was their song because her middle name was Rose. We're in Dallas. There's lunchtime traffic everywhere. Traffic. Yeah, it is lunchtime. It is 12.38 on a Friday. There's uh, Medieval Times. Oh, Medieval Times. Has anyone ever been here? I always wanted to go here as a kid. But uh, I don't think I ever did. Never made it. Never made it. Still haven't. There's the, what's that building called? Uh, the, the golf ball. <laughs> the golf ball is what I know it is. I don't know what the real name of it is, but it's straight ahead. And you're from here, you should know that. I can't think of the name of it. It's another place I always wanted to go when I was a kid, but never got to go to but you know I feel I feel like I'm probably not missing out on much this is the American Airlines Center I don't know if you can see that lots of concerts happen there looks like the Justice Hall of Justice Dallas has a pretty downtown I think yeah. <laughs> no cursing on the vlog sorry he uh, doesn't really curse we just ah sorry <laughs> Brent doesn't curse he just makes up silly words uh, Stay in yeah, this, this is a better shot. Oh, look how pretty it is. Hold on, let me go out this other window so you can see. Okay, that. So nice and building, big. Right over here. One? See the concrete one that's got the weird extended staircase on the outside? That is the Perot Science Museum. And everybody should stop in the Perot Science Museum. It's a really cool building. I want to go in there. I've never been in there. It's it's really cool. So that's the escalators, what's outside the building. Yeah. Sort of right there. Get you a better shot. There we go. The Perot building, everyone. We are just leaving the fine establishment, the Texas Monument, the DQ. What town are we in? We're in, oh, I don't know, Wilmer? No. No. Ennis, Texas, maybe? Something like that. Beautiful city. Scurry. Um, yeah, so definitely very random experience in there with everyone staring at my hair, which as you may or may not be able to see is in victory rolls, but apparently no one gets those. I mean, I get it because my hair is a little bit weird today because it went through the rainstorm this morning, so it's kind of, you know, a little bit frazzled, a little bit whatever, <laughs> but um, yeah, so that was a fun time. Anything? Anything you have to say about that experience? I I don't think I've felt that judged in a while. It was pretty interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so we're back on the highway, headed to Houston. So we have been driving since, what time? 9 a.m. And it is now 5.20. And we're feeling a little bit tired, not gonna lie. 
but we are finally almost to our destination. There are palm trees here. And how are you feeling, sir? Um, good. <laughs> I think I just need dinner. He might be hangry. I'm not sure. But we have a skyline. I'll show you. There we go. Can you see it? Houston. <laughs> you can't see it. It looks like teeny tiny in oh, here. Oh, it's much bigger in real it's life. It's like weirdly a lot, lot, lot larger. Two miles. Take exit 48B for I-10 West towards San Antonio. There My you go. phone is yelling at me on how to get there. Look at these beautiful clouds. It's hot as a mother here. Let's look out to the side. Can you see anything? It's just trees and trees. We have a lot of trees here. So we are just here at the hotel, chilling our little faces off. We got here right at rush hour, and then, um, yeah, we just kind of checked into our hotel, and then ran over to um, the mall for a little bit, and wandered around there, and um, yeah, so we're just chilling in our hotel room, and you can uh, definitely see that I've put my hair up for the night, so... I always feel like um, with this hair color that I look like sexy George Washington or maybe just George Washington. This is our hotel room. Nothing too fancy schmancy. Little couch over here. You can see we've done some shopping. We've got a little Kate Spade bag, a little cotton on, an iron because Brent ironed his t-shirt. He told me he likes ironed t-shirts and so he needs to start ironing his t-shirts so that is all for tonight i think tomorrow we're just going to do some running around and um yeah we'll see what happens so we'll see you tomorrow good morning, morning. afternoon we got three minutes left in the morning but it is saturday and we kind of slept in a little bit on accident and um yeah so we're just now kind of like getting around we just had coffee and quiche at a really fun little place called siphon coffee siphon coffee houston texas <laughs> best cold brew i've probably had in a yeah, while yeah we had cold brew and it was really really yummy yeah. and the quiche was really really yummy it's good and so now i think we're gonna just kind of wander around there's a shop that we're gonna drive by and see if it's something we want to go into I don't know and I don't know how to say the name but um, I'll show it to you when we get there <laughs> so. this building right here is about to be renovated into a design showroom and we just talked to the gentleman that's gonna renovate it and this is a Frank Lloyd Wright style, not necessarily Frank Lloyd himself, but it, it used to be an apartment complex. Cool. It is this car that we have no idea what it is, but six kill friends. Wow. This is our yummy queso. That's Brent. This is the first time we've sat down today. It has a really cool wall. It's got little reflectors on it. Construction reflectors. Very cool. Our food will be here soon. Well, the trailer park, and I ordered it in trashy style, um, which means it came with uh, cheese and queso instead of vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is, but. And then I got sweet corn which looks amazing and then I got the crossroads which I can't remember what it has but it's like beef and avocado and a random oh tomatillo sauce that's it looks delicious so here is what I'm wearing today I forgot to do this earlier today but um, I wanted to show you what I was wearing so pardon my face I feel like you're really close to my face I'm not. Um, because it's looking I just had tacos which were really yummy but it's affected my face and it's like 100 degrees out here but my little top today is from forever 21 it's a little top like that it's actually kind of cropped and fitted and then this little skirt is a flamingo skirt and it is from asos i got it last summer but i'm just now getting to wear it and then my bracelet is i think it's juicy couture it was a gift Ooh, sticky sweatiness 
Um, I broke a fingernail, that's sad news. And then my shoes are Vans, and they have been super comfy to walk in today. Well, good morning, good morning. afternoon. <laughs> it is... It's 11.30. <laughs> it's Sunday at 11.30, but we have driven for a little ways. Yeah. This morning we are at the fine Houston Premium Outlets, um, mainly because I think they have a Kate Spade outlet and I just wanted to um, run out here and see just to check what they have. They do and, have a Nestle Toll House cookie place. And we're starving and so yeah. we're gonna go and find some food and then at some point I have to find nail clippers because of my broken nail situation. And I also, my eyeliner dried out this morning and so I had to improv on the eyeliner. Don't know that you can tell the difference, but um, yeah, I had to use a blue eyeshadow because that's all I had. So <laughs> we're gonna get this day started. So we'll see you later. Bye. We are driving back into Houston conquered the mall and um, conquered Kate Spade and I got some good things I think. You think I got some good things? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I tried on a bunch of stuff and I found some cute things. I'll do maybe a haul video of everything that I got um, maybe when I get home or whatever so I won't ruin the surprise and show you. Um, and then we got rained on at the outlet mall which is an outdoor mall so that was good. Good times. And um, now we are going back into the city. I'd show you, but it's kind of just like industrial mess. Um, <laughs> but we're going back into the city and I am going to go meet up with Leanne. And we're gonna actually meet in real life. And so we're gonna do that. And I think that's, I don't know what else we have planned for today. We're just taking it as it comes. <laughs> What day is it? Sunday night? Sunday at 9 21. Woohoo! And we are just kind of got back to the hotel. We're just gonna chill here for a little while and relax after a long day. We had a really fun day. We got to um, see Leanne. We did some shopping. We drove around and just kind of looked at the city and um, wondered. And what did we just. Oh, we just had barbecue. Mm -hmm. We had dinner it's at good. this place. I think it was called the Stockyard. Something like that something like that i don't know down the road it was really good um yeah so we head back tomorrow to home make sure our cats haven't died or sad. destroyed everything so sad and um, but we may stop in dallas and do i don't know if we'll do any more shopping or maybe eat or something on our way home so that'll be fun and um anything else you need to say i just i'm sad to leave had to leave. Yeah. Oh, we went to this Walgreens that um, I've never seen anything like it. It has like a whole beauty section, like high end beauty se section. So I've never seen one of those before, and that was kind of cool. And I took a picture of it, but I was gonna film, but then now I got too nervous to film in there. <laughs> but I took a picture instead. <laughs> okay. Okay. Anything else? That's it. That's it. We're we're we had our trip. We're done and. Now it's back to real life. Sad times. Yeah. It's sad. Alright. But we're gonna relax and um, we'll see you tomorrow. Alright. Good night. It is our last morning in Houston and as you can tell, feeling a little bit tired this morning. Um, but I wanted to kind of show you, I don't know if you'll be able to see the view from our window. Right there is the Galleria. And there's Kind of just a bunch of buildings over there. Over this direction, there's a CVS right in there. And then just across the way is that really cool Walgreens I was telling you about. So yeah, this has been our little view for the past few, oop, few days. Kind of fun. Pretty clouds. Houston has pretty clouds. There's bugs on the window. I thought I would show you a few of the things that I packed to bring with me that you might want to see how I pack everything and I brought a lot of things on this trip and I don't know why so I'll show you okay down here is just kind of my like bath bag and it has my little hishi dirty little mitt little hishi tanner and I just slide that in here just so it doesn't go everywhere just in case 
This is a little Venus razor that I grabbed since we were traveling. I thought that would be handy. A little mouthwash. This is Dream Cream, and that's what I've been using as um, body lotion for this trip. I actually really like this. I haven't used it before, and I just grabbed it before I left, and it's been really good. Um, that is a bath bomb. I'm not sure it got melty and crumbly um, that I didn't use it. I can't remember which one it is. It's a pink one, so maybe it's Snow Fairy. It may have been a leftover one from Christmas. Um, deodorant. Definitely need that here. This is, I brought a lip scrub because my lips have been super dry. So this is the bubblegum lip scrub. And I actually really like this one. I hadn't tried that one either. Um, but I actually, that might be my favorite. And I'm not a big fan of bubblegum, but for some reason it reminds me of a snow cone. And that's just another little um, body butter, body bar, I think. Um, and then coming over to my, there's a four bag. I bought this while I was here. It's a um, cleansing water because mine had run out, so I got this one, but it's kind of leaky, so I'm keeping it in this bag so it doesn't get everywhere. Then this is my very messy, at this point, makeup bag. I have, I'll just go through it. I brought my chocolate bar palette. I don't know if I can get it open, yeah, so you can see. So yeah, brought, hi, good morning, see my dirty mirror. Chocolate bar palette. And then the other eye palette I brought was this Estee Lauder one. I think this was the Violet Violet Underground palette. And I just saw this at um, the cosmetics store. I can't get this open. Hold on. Let me see if I can get it open. There we go. And it just has these really pretty colors. And I mainly brought it because I wanted that pink um, to wear one day. And then um, I ended up using this as an eyeliner because um, my liquid liner ran out. So I had a blue liner, so I figured I'd top it off with that. Um, and then I also brought it because it's got this black in it, which is a matte black, and the chocolate bar palette does not have that in there. So there's that. Foundation, I've been wearing the Kat Von D foundation. Um, and then I also brought a mineral powder, but I decided that that didn't work so much with this climate. But this is just the Avon Smooth Minerals. And it's a little too tan for me, but I thought it might be kind of fun to tan, look a little more tan while in Texas. But yeah, this um, didn't really sit that great on my face. And then the little kabuki brush I brought to go with that. This is from Tarte. These are the lashes that um, I brought with me, and you can see they got mascara on them, but these are really great. I like these because I like eyelashes that you can't feel on your eyes, and these I mean, not now because they have glue on them because they use black eyelash glue, but the band is invisible and they look really good on just kind of like a really soft, um, winged out liner out there on the edge. You can see that. So yeah, I liked those. Um, this was just my little bronzer slash second blush that I brought. I should have opened all this first, huh? That's just by Tarte. And it came in like a QVC seven piece pack. So I don't know that you can get it individually, but it's pink bronze. I like that. It's really pretty. The other blush that I brought was Frat Boy, um, just for a more neutral toned. This is like a peachy kind of blush that I like to wear, just kind of everyday sort of. Um, Mary Luminizer, little highlight. Um, I use that usually in my inner corners. And um, you can see I, Spilled some of it, so my bag is gonna have to be washed out when I get home. Face shadow insurance. And then I brought this that gal by Benefit. It's a little sample of the Radiant Primer that I wear under the Candy Foundation. The mascara is this one I'm trying out. My sister recommended it, and I actually really like it so far. Oh, hang on. <laughs> this one is. Um, it's called Big Bold NYC Mascara, or it's by NYC, it's called Big Bold Mascara. It's in a pink and green tube, pretty cheap, it's got a rubber wand on it, I kind of like it, you'll probably hear more about that soon. The only eyeliner that I brought, <laughs> which is blue, um, I don't know why I didn't throw a black one in here, but this is what I brought, so this is why I wore blue eyeliner when my other ran out. Eyelash curlers. Um, this is my Anastasia Anastasia eyebrow pencil. 
This is the backup that I bought at the fancy Walgreens of my Physician's Formula eyeliner. This is the one that ran out. I need to throw that away, but that's actually going to go in an empties video soon. Ha ha ha. We save our tr trash even on <laughs> road trips. This is the Rimmel uh, Lasting Finish. This one is in Cappuccino. It's a really nice nude color, kind of a 90s color. I didn't wear that, but I thought it would be fun just to have in case. The rest of my lip products are this Lime Crime. I think it's in Wicked. Yeah, this is Wicked. And then this one is pink, and it is the um, pink velvet. What's it called? Is it just pink velvet? Yeah, pink velvet. And then the last one is this Melted Cosme or melted Liquid Lipstick by Too Faced. This is the violet one. Um, what's it called? Melted Violet, yeah. And then eyelash glue. This is the one I've been using. I really like it. It's by Kiss, I think. Yeah. And it's just a black. Um, lash adhesive, brow gel, this is the benefit, brow gel, really like that stuff, sharpener, and I put a rubber band on it after it exploded in the bag to keep it all together, just a hair clip, tweezers, um, I brought this concealer but I didn't end up using it, it's a little too thick, it's the Bobbi Brown Corrector in um, Light Bisque is my color, but it's just a little too heavy for this climate I think, so yeah, that is everything that I brought in my makeup bag. And I have a, the only other thing is I have a little th a little pouch with my brushes in it, my makeup brushes, and then I have um, just a little um, bag that has all my hairsprays and stuff like that in it so they don't explode. Yeah, so there is that. We're gonna finish getting ready and then, um, yeah, head out. There you go. And this is what we're gonna see for another 
couple hours. So, see you later. Saw the little Texas necklace and couldn't pass that up. And she can do any state, um, obviously, where you live. So if you wanted to do that, I thought, I think it's really cute. And um, 